Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will see how mutate filter works. So it is a demo session. Before we jump on to the main topic, just I would like to highlight that those who have not watched my previous video on mutate filter, please watch this video to understand this session very clearly. So this is the this is the small video only of three minutes. So please watch this video. I have I have explained what is mutate filter, how it works, what type of or what all type of operation we can do with the help of mutate filter. So this is the video. You can go in the playlist of ELK stack and you can see this. Please go through this video in two lines. Mutate filter is the filter which is used to perform mutations on the fields present in the event of the log stress. We can apply the mutation. Mutation means renaming the field, removing the field, adding new field, updating the field, replacing the field. So this is called mutation. So these kind of operation we can perform on the fields present in the event of the log stress output. So that we will see how we can do so to for this demo we have used this log file file weight software 6.8 log stress software 6.8 these are the software which uh, we already downloaded in our previous videos so same configuration we are using here also for file weight and the log stress also so what would be the flow of the data how the pipeline will look like so the file bit will read the data from log file it will send to the log stress where log stress will apply the mutate filter and the output would be sent to the console so how the console so because here the output is the standard output let's launch our software the file bit this is the file bit and uh, this is the log stress command prompt so i am launching the file bit first so this is the command which we already discussed in many videos and and this let's launch the this this is the command for log stress so let's wait for this to be up right now i have started the log stress with the this configuration means there is nothing in the filter so this is the section we will update in a, this particular demo. There will be no change in this. So this is the section we will update. So I launched with this configuration because I wanted to show you how the output of the log stress will look like without the mutate filter. That's why I have not put any mutate filter here. Let's see how it would look like. So the log stress started file bit also file bit also started so let me this is the sample log we are using let's see the output here yeah you can see the output the our event so this is the event we call so this is the event so it contains the our message log message you can see this so this is the event and these are the field of event message is one of the field of event so this is the basically log stress console where the this is getting printed so these are the field now we will perform the now you can see how it is looking like let me take the screenshot for your reference so that we can compare after we apply so now we will set some mutate filter so here we are using the mutate filter now so in my previous mutate filter session i explained that we can use more than one mutate filter so here we are using more than one and these are the operation of the mutate filter we can also do the more than one operation so first one is to add the field in the file in the event so here we will add one more field called beat version this means that this is the dynamic value we are taking 
we are taking the beat of beat field and the version of that so from the existing event so the existing event is this we are taking the beat you can see beat object yeah this is the beat object and the version this so this is how we are so we are taking so the value would be 6.8.1 percentage for the dynamic and this is the syntax this is how you can fetch the data from the object so beat is the object here uh, let me show you this is the object beat is the object okay so this is so it what it would do it would add one field beat version and will co will copy this value inside this here it is also adding one more field log file and the value it is setting log log object file field and the path field here uh, from the log uh, where it is yeah log path file field so instead of creating a object we are using the so we are cop we are this now this is to remove remove field so we are removing the field we will remove offset prospector version source host and all these field and the log also so this is how we can remove the field so when we will run this configuration now the field these field will be removed you will not see many field in the output after we run this configuration mute it now rename so we are renaming the this field to the fetch time so it would be renamed to this mute it one more add field log time and copy so we will copy the fetch value to this log time field and mutate also the upper so there are many operation we can do so in our previous video we discussed which all operation we can do with the help of mutate filter upper so we are making this value uh, upper case input and type which input and type where yeah this input and type so this would be upper so this is the configuration we are using so so many muted filter we have used here so that it it can be clear that how we can use so these are the widely used operations so let's restart our log stats i am restarting so that to make this if effective also file with already read this log so i am i will remove first and then will add and then we can see the output of it so there would be you will see a different output now there are many fields we have removed so this is how the filter look like this is the everything is inside the filter component one two three four five six six mutated filter we are using and these are the operation add operation remove operation of the we can do more than one operation in the same mutated filter let's yeah so now you can see the output you can see output with the less fields right small output now you you, are, you will not see the many fields you can see the beat version we added log time we have added right here add beat version we added log time log file we added where is log file log file we yeah, log file we added type we have converted to upper case right beat version we have added the value 6.8 so we have removed all these fields offset prospector the let me show you the screenshot of this right it was like this before version timestamp prospector prospector offset now you will not see because we have we have used the mutation so this is how you can use the mutate filter so this would be very helpful for our production application so this is how you can use the mutate filter there are many other operation you can do we will commit this 
configuration this configuration file with configuration and log file in the github and will share the link so that you guys can download and and try in your own system if you have any doubt you are facing any challenge just please let me know in the comment section i will have a look and will get back to you so that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video